I've looked at the cup and I found that uh, some of the drawings that I had done were a little bit wider than the others and I want to straighten these out. So the strategy for putting this design into the cup is to first put on the main design, chase that in, and then put in the uh, subsequent parts of the design. So what I've done with the stencil in order to stabilize it is put a thin strip of mylar across here to keep it from expanding when I wrap it around the round surface of the cup. And what I'll do is this time line it up just like I did the last time to put the drawing on, setting the, the top of the arch at that little scratch mark that we put in with the uh, surface gauge, and tape in the center line. Now this time, instead of putting the uh, marks in with the Sharpie, I'm going to use this uh, scratching tool and put in a very careful single scratch line at the edge of the stencil. These will be the guides for the chasing tool. There. Okay, that's the first one. And then I'll take this off. And it has very uh, nice, uh, that you can see, scratch marks in the surface here that will guide my chasing tool. So I'm going to do the next ones, and then we'll get on to the next step. On the bottom, the drawing is still in place. But uh, when I go to scratch in the lines, I'll scratch in through the drawing that's already there. So I'm going to place this so that the center is on the center and the point is on the line. And tape this in place. And instead of drawing all the way around, because I know that this part right here doesn't always match up, I will only do the outline of the petal and the inside. I'm not going to put the circle in until after I chase in the basic you know, flower shape. That way, when I chase in the flower lines, I will be able to center the circle between the petals you know, more accurately. And after I scratch in all of these lines, I will, you know, I'll, I'll remove all of the black of the original drawing here. Okay, the last one is scratched in. So in order to remove this, I'm going to take some Bonami, which is a very, very soft abrasive, and I have a wet corner of a paper towel, and I'll just touch it like this to put some powder on here, and this will remove the Sharpie and leave all of my scratch marks.
And now we're ready to begin chasing.